problem that we are talking about is a problem that each one of you have seen on your way here. Despite all of the wonderful efforts by decision makers like you and by citizens like us, till today, 95% of the 2 lakh tons of waste that India is generating every day still finds its way into the landfills and because there is not enough land left, it ends up right in front of our houses like this, getting burnt, causing all kinds of pollution of course, but also creating respiratory cancer in young children, which is already proven. We are sitting on a ticking time bomb, a thing that is already costing lives. What is the solution? The one solution to this is segregation. Because when I remove the plastic, which you see on the screen from the food waste, you can recycle it, you can recover value, so it does not have to end up in the landfill. But we all know what is the current solution, uh, what is the current segregation rate. So as an engineer, I looked at all the solutions that are there all over the world. There are vibro screens, there are trauma mills, there are optical sorters, there are waste to energy plants, but none of them work with a big plastic bag with diaper, sanitary napkin, food, glass, dead rat, dripping sambar, literally anything that comes to your mind. So we had to create a solution a, a system that can take all of this trash and automatically sort it into valuables which can be recovered. That was the idea. But as simple as it sounds, it took us nearly three years of working in the dump sites day and night with this trash to come up with a solution. But ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy that after this grueling journey of shooting in the dark, we invented the world's first completely automated material recovery facility which can take trash from the streets and automatically sort it into value added materials. What I'm talking about is from the trash which you see on the left, that is the waste on the streets, you can recover two main fractions, degradables and non-degradables. Because after this, there are many solutions. For the degradables, you can do composting, you can do biogas. And for the non-degradables, it was primarily plastic so you can recycle it. So this we are doing in hundreds of tons across 20 cities in 6 states in India. And we thought the problem is solved. Then we realized it's not yet solved. Because the plastics we were recovering are the plastics that nobody wanted, not even the waste picker. You see the waste on the streets are waste that nobody wants, not even the waste picker. That's why it's on the streets. So the plastics we were recovering are all your multi-layered plastics, your kurkure, bingo sachets. And incidentally, 75% of the plastics you and I generate are this material. But all the high value like your PET bottles, shampoo bottles, already many people are taking it. So we were left with something that has no value. So again, we looked who can take it. So there are cement plants that use it currently instead of coal. There are some small recyclers who are trying to recycle it, but they also do not touch street plastic waste. And of course, the last option, which is very prevalent, which is dump it in the landfill. So again, we pushed ourselves to create another solution to solve this problem. Otherwise, waste will still end up going into the landfill. So that's when we wanted to create a recycling solution which should not add chemicals because if you add chemicals, you're altering the material. You should not add water because if you add water, you're contaminating the water. You should not add raw material because otherwise a small village cannot purchase it in say Assam. So we again came up with a solution called Wow Recycler which will take all the plastics recovered from our bot or otherwise too and convert it into recycled sheets like this which are similar to plywood, from which you can make benches and desks, tables and chairs and whatnot. In fact, near the cafeteria, the bins are made out of our material. The planters outside are made out of our material. All the things you can possibly imagine with wood can be made with this material. And it's waterproof, ter uh, waterproof termite proof and 30% cheaper than plywood. So this is the material we created. But we were not happy even after this. The most happiest moment was when we could actually showcase the impact on ground provide employment to uh, people in a dignified way. Our waste pickers do not have to touch waste. They are operators. The most beautiful part was when we took 24 villages near Bangalore and made it zero waste literally overnight. What you see on the left is the dump. What you see on the right is what we converted into. But from the plastics we recovered, we made benches and desks, tables and chairs to nearly 10,000 government school kids but the, but the most, thank you so much. But the most beautiful part was when we told a small child of eight year old, they are kids of coolies and waste pickers. We told her to get up and tell, what is this made of? And nobody told her anything, nobody prompted, nobody educated. But the child says, the plastic that went out of my house 
has come back as this bench and desk. This, we believe, is true behavioral change. Not, not when we find somebody or incentivize them, but when people understand that waste is actually a resource, like Ms. Sunita also said. Being said that, during this grueling journey, we are working with almost many municipalities, village panchayats, town panchayats across India, including the likes of all the biggest of corporates as well. But we have been very fortunate that an Indian technology has been awarded by the Prime Minister of India, Prime Minister and Trade Minister of Norway, United Nations Deputy Secretary General, Principal Scientific Advisor to name a few. In fact, we even received an appreciation letter. This kept us going during our grueling journey in the dump sites. And being covered in 150 plus media publications is good, but an Indian technology again being covered in US and Germany was something that was noteworthy. In fact, we are very happy to announce that this year, World Economic Forum in Davos in Switzerland, Trashcon will be presenting in front of prime ministers and presidents of the world. <laughs> Indian technology being showcased globally. Thank you so much. Several decision makers like you helped us to come to this stage. We are a team of 50 passionate engineers. We are now scaling up to be 100. All of them have left plus jobs to work with the dump sites to solve this problem. As I mentioned, we are across 20 cities. But our vision is to be preventing 25,000 tons of waste per day from entering the landfills by 2025. This, we believe, is possible and can be possible with your support. But why am I standing here, why am I talking to you, is because I have a vision. A vision that I started with on day one, and till now I have it, whenever I wake up in the morning. A vision that 20 years down the lane, when I am telling a story to my daughter, beta, once upon a time, there was trash. And my daughter should say, Mama, what is trash? And this is our vision. And we are too small to achieve this big a vision. We need each one of your support in making this a reality. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Niveda.